Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to increase your Windows computer performance without too much of a hassle. This will require no physical hardware upgrades. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Open up the start menu, type in Control Panel. Best match to come back with Control Panel. Go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to large icons. And now left click on power options. So if you're on a laptop, you will definitely notice a decrease in your battery life. But if you're on a desktop or maybe you don't really care if you're using a laptop, you want to increase your performance for a little bit, you can set your preferred plan to high performance, which favors performance but may use more energy. So just select that plan. And then once you're done with that, hopefully that would have been able to speed you up a little bit. And you close out of here. Open up the start menu and type in performance. Best match to come back will adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Go ahead and left click on that. Select the option that says adjust for best performance and then select apply. Give it a moment here. Please keep in mind if you want to re-enable certain performance options you're more than welcome to just by checking individual options but this will adjust for the best performance so that's as the name implies it's going to turn off the unnecessary eye candy stuff as I would describe it go ahead and left click on OK now that you've done that hopefully you speed up your computer a little bit more another thing would be to open up the start menu type in programs and features best match to go back with apps and features open that up if you were going through the control panel on Windows 7 or Windows 8 you could select programs and features through there Go ahead and look through a list of installed programs on your computer, and if you find one you no longer need, I would suggest just going ahead and left clicking on it and then select uninstall. Please note if you're on Windows 10, there's some that are installed by Microsoft, so you might not be able to uninstall all of them, but just keep that in mind. So if you have any that you know you purposely installed, you can just go ahead and left click on it and then select the uninstall button, and just go ahead and uninstall unnecessary programs in here. Another thing would be to go ahead and right click on the taskbar, select task manager, and now select the startup tab. So if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8 you have to go in the start menu and type in msconfig. Best match to go back with system configuration so go ahead and left click on that. And then select the startup tab. So basically on Windows 10 they moved everything to the task manager so that's why we're going to be in here. But if you are on Windows 7 or Windows 8, go through the MS config utility that I just showed. And any programs in here you don't recognize, you don't really probably need, you can go ahead and just left click on it and then select disabled. So you can see I've already gone ahead and disabled some services in here. So you can see the startup impact if it's low, medium, or high. Go ahead and just select the disable button. And you can always re-enable them down the road. It's just as simple as clicking on it and then select enable. The status type is already listed here, so you don't really need to worry too much about that. You'll know if it's enabled or disabled. So hopefully, again, that would have been able to increase your performance a little bit. Another thing you could try would be to open up the start menu, type in disk cleanup. Best match to go back with disk cleanup. Go ahead and left click on that. Should say disk cleanup, you want to select the cleanup system files button. If you see anything that says Windows installation files, so if you perhaps did an upgrade to a new version of Windows 10, there might be some files left behind that I want you guys to check mark, as well as any Windows update cache, I want you to check mark that as well. I recently ran an update files listed in here, but just go ahead and check mark next to it, and then select OK, select delete. There's really no harm in running this utility, I've never had a problem with it before personally, so just go ahead and run that.
Okay, now that that's done, another thing I would suggest doing would be to open up your web browser. So just go ahead, I'm going to have Google Chrome for this tutorial, but if you choose to open up another web browser, you're welcome to. And you want to go type in google.com, you want to go search that up. Okay, now they're on Google. You want to go into the search bar and type in CCleaner, so C-C-L-E-A-N-E-R. Hit enter on your keyboard. One of the best managers should come back with CCleaner.com, clean up and speed up your slow PC. Go ahead and left click on that. If you notice the text is a little blurry on Google Chrome, you're welcome to go back and adjust some of those performance options we went through earlier in the video and just crisp up the text a little bit so don't worry too much, you can easily adjust that in the performance options. And underneath, see which version of CCleaner suits you, you want to scroll down and select the download option underneath CCleaner free. So go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to scroll underneath the free section and then select download. So while this is downloading, I'm going to actually open up the start menu again just to go back and adjust the performance options. Just so we can go ahead and resolve that without too much of a hassle if you want to change that text back. So we're going to just go adjust the performance again just so we can clear up this text a little bit, make it look a little bit more normal, I'd say. Honestly, it doesn't really bother me, but it might bother some of you guys here. Go ahead and select Smooth Edges of Screen Fonts, and then select Apply and OK. Please know you will have to restart your browser for that to take effect, so we're going to open up CCleaner's installer file here. It's going to ask, do you want to allow us to make changes to your device? Select Yes. So now while that's installing, we're going to go open up Google Chrome again just to show you guys that it should have resolved that little font issue that we were coming across. So a lot of this is always trial and error too, so you're welcome to go ahead and adjust that. You can always change it back. And you can see the text now appears as it once did. So we go back to ccleaner.com. The text should look fine. So there you go, you see the text looks good once again, so you're welcome to adjust that. If you didn't want to change your back, it's fine with me, but obviously, you know, every little bit you track mark will decrease your performance a little bit. So anyway, if you want to go ahead and install the CCleaner browser with the CCleaner application, you can keep this check mark down here, otherwise uncheck it, and then select Customize. So you don't have to keep all these options checked. Personally, I usually add a desktop and start menu shortcut, and I uncheck the other two options underneath but I keep Intelligent Cookie Scan enabled and then select Install. So we're going to uncheck the box where it says View Release Notes and then select Run CCleaner. Select Custom Clean. Please note before we run this if you have any saved passwords or anything online. So if you have your Gmail account preferences signed in automatically, make sure you have your passwords around. So this is actually be cleaning out your website caches and cookies and whatnot. So we're going to keep most of the stuff checked. If you want to uncheck anything, it means it won't automatically delete it. So if you want to preserve safe passwords or cookies, you just uncheck the option there so it won't automatically scan for it. And then select Run. The selected files will be deleted from your PC. Select Continue. Okay, so once that's done, I also suggest selecting the Registry option and then select Scan for Issues. And once that's done, I would suggest selecting Fix Selected Issues. 
It's going to ask, do you want to back up the registry before making changes? Select yes. For file name, I personally suggest naming it the date that you're making the backup. So I'm just going to put today's date here. And then I'm just going to call it backup. Select save. It's saved to our desktop here. So if you ever needed to revert the changes, you just would double click on it and it would reinstall the entries to the registry. So pretty straightforward. So basically our safety net there. I've never needed to do it personally, but if you needed it, it's there. So I should say unused file extension or something along those lines. Go ahead and left click on fix all selected issues. And it should automatically run through all of them pretty quick. Select close. Close out of here. Restore your computer. And hopefully I was able to show you guys some quick and easy tips of how to speed up your performance of your computer. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.